Okay, it's, uh, it's good, yeah, we're making some good progress. So we've gone through, just to recap, we've gone through everything that we, you know, broad outline of the of the course. We've worked our way through completing the square. Be wary of the fractions. We've worked our way through some you know, solving, or effectively solving inequalities, but it's, it's a discriminant, you know, the nature of the roots type thing, but really it's nature of the roots and you're solving an inequation. You need to do your roots in your, in your sketch. And then we've got um, solving an, an equation where you don't have to worry about b squared minus 4ac, but you do have to do your roots and your sketch. And this time it was negative, so it was a bit trickier. So if you can get these skills, that's a lot of it. This is actually kind of bonus material that is from old papers and from the textbook, which may crop up, but recently that doesn't seem to be what is being examined. So just to remind us the, um, about graphs, okay, a quick, a quick look through graphs first of all, and then I'll see if I can get onto intersection of lines and curves. So, how will you do that? So we're very helpful in giving you this form. I would remember this form. Don't expect them to tell you that. And all they're saying there is that, okay, x take away a and x take away b, that is just the roots of the equation with the signs changed. So the roots we see are 1 and 4. So I know that, well, that'll be x plus 1 and x take away 4. Sorry, plus four. Because if I was to solve this, if I solve this for when y is zero, that's when x is negative one and x is negative four. Sorry, I've done that. Oh, around the sorry, change the sign. Sorry, change the sign. Oh, what am I thinking? Done. It's been a long day. Sorry, change the sign. Negative one, negative four. Change the sign roots. Because if I solve this, x would become one, x would become four. That's my solutions. Okay. And how do we find what k is? Well, we have to substitute a point in that we know. We know that point. We know that when y, so when x equal to 0, y is equal to 12. So let's put an x is 0, so it's negative 1, negative 4. So I know that 12 is equal to k times 4. So k has to be equal to 3. So just remember this, this general form. That's similar to the polynomial question where you've got the extra bracket. So for a polynomial, you've then got x take away c because you've got three roots rather than just two. And also at the polynomial, don't forget where if we had a curve that just touched here, so if that was 5, that would be y is equal to k, x take away 5 squared, because it's the same as two equal roots, x take away 5 and x take away 5. Don't forget that. I'll just leave that there. Uh, so same again over here. Write the equation in this form. It's the exact same thing, you would say, right, I've got y, and it's going to be k, x take away a, x take away b. Let's see if I don't make a mistake this time. We change the sign of the roots, so I've got x take away 0, because it's going through here, and I've got x take away 2, because that's the opposite of positive 2. I can just rewrite that as ax, because x take away 0 is x, take away 2. How can I possibly work out what k is? Well, I've used this point, I've used this point, I've not used this point. Let's substitute that in. So y is negative 6 when x is equal to 1. Put 1 in there. 1 taking away 2 is negative 1. So negative 6 is negative k. So k is going to be equal to 2, 6. And that would be your final answer. This one was only asking for a and b. But I just thought I would take it through and show you the whole thing. Then you could rewrite your final answer with the with the equation. So just don't forget this form. And I think that, that it's just a nice crossover as well with the polynomials where you need to know that genetic form with the graph. Okay. And I'm just trying to, again, reinforce the idea that when you're doing your, your factorizing, when you're solving your quadratics, you're working out the roots of the equation. Okay. Right. Um, the center of this curve intersects the line. So they don't really ask this very often, but it's a skill. So if this equation, this curve is going to meet this line, determine if it intersects. The first thing we'll do is we'll put these two equal to each other because if they are intersecting each other, well, this is going to have to equal this. And then we get everything over to one side. I'll take away x from both sides. Let's so take away 5x and I'll add 2 to both sides. And now we'll do our b squared minus 4ac to work out the nature of the roots. So b squared is going to be negative 5 squared. Take away, and don't forget your bracket. So that's 25, take away, 
4 times 1, which is 4, take away 28, so that's equal to negative 3. So then I would just finish off by saying, oh, oops, let's see that, just finish off by saying, therefore, uh, not intersect as b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So put them equal to each other, put them equal to 0, and then do your discriminant. If you wanted to know where they met, all you would do at this point is factorise. Now, we can't factorise, can we? Because if they don't meet, it's not going to factorise. But if you wanted to know where they met, it said, what are the, the coordinates? You would just factorise at this point. So, yeah, does this curve intersect with a line? No, it doesn't, because b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Next one. Find the points of intersection of the curve and the line. Exact same thing. So this curve must equal this if they're going to intersect. Get everything over to one side. So x squared, take away 2x, so I'm taking away 4x from both sides. Add 3 equals 0. Now if it said what's the nature, I could do b squared minus 4ac now and work that out. If I just want the points, I'll just factorise it. So what adds to this and multiplies to this? So let's think of my uh, factors of negative 2 and 4c. Oh, you know what? I've written the question down wrong. Apologies. That should be a negative. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That should be a negative in there. Just fix that. So I was just thinking, hmm, that might not be 11. And add 3 is just negative 8. Sorry, so factors of 2 and 8. So we're looking for... Looking for negative 4 and plus 2. Absolutely, negative 4 and plus 2. Because that will add to give me negative 2 multiplied to give me negative 8. So x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 2. Now if we'd done b squared minus 4ac, that would have come out as greater than 0. And we could have said, well, I've got two points of intersection then. But we can factorise it and show. Well, there's two points of intersection. If you wanted to show this was um, a tangent, you could do b squared minus 4ac equals 0. And say, well, there's two equal uh, points of intersection, so it's tangent, or you could factorise, and these two brackets would come out the same, x ne negative 4, x negative 4, x plus 2, x plus 2, so you would say, well, there's two equal roots, so that has to be a tangent. And then now, if you want to work out the other part of the coordinate, the y coordinate, you would simply just substitute back into one of your lines. So for this one, I would say, okay, well, I'll do y is equal to 4, multiply by 4, take away 3, 16 take away 3, Give me 13. Y is equal to 4, negative 2. So that's going to be negative 8, take away 3, which is equal to negative 11. So your two coordinates are 4 and 13. And so negative 2 and negative 11. That's your two coordinates right there. Oh, that was quick. So these two questions, you can probably see why they don't ask them very often, because it's actually almost a national five school. You're putting two equations equal to each other, equal to zero, and factorising. There's not an awful lot in there. This one you have to understand what b squared minus 4ac is. However, these are the more common questions because you have to understand more about your the nature of the quadratics, or these ones here where you have to understand about the discriminant. You know, so it, these are your more common questions, um, along here and in there. Complete the square comes up a lot as well. We talked about that. It's quite procedural. And yeah, I hope that's been a been a helpful section. You know, please uh, like and subscribe. If you get any comments, please leave them. Um, if you see any mistakes, let me know. Or anything you think would be, be worth adding in. You know, happy to happy to add a few videos. So yeah, that should take care of quadratics. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.